In this video, we assume that you have already installed the DVT Eclipse ID from a distribution, the license keys, and that the DVT home and DVT license file variables are properly set up. To start DVT, run the DVT home bin DVTSH script. When asked for a workspace, provide an empty or even non-existing directory, as it will be created automatically. When starting DVT again, the last workspace used will be automatically filled into the dialog. To create a project, go to File, New, DVT Project. Usually, the project location is the directory where your source code resides. Next, pick the languages that you plan to use. If the source files are mixed with numerous artifacts, such as regression results, generated documentation, cell libraries, and so on, in order to avoid platform slowdowns, the tool automatically suggests excluding some of the relevant files. Excluding means filtering out. The files are not removed from disk. Two new entities are created in the project's root directory. The .project file and the .dvt folder, which contains project-specific DVT configuration. The auto-generated default build file contains a single build auto-config directive, which tells DVT to scan the project and figure out what needs to be compiled. Once the build is done, the tool is ready to use. If you already have some file lists or argument files that you pass to the simulator, you can simply reuse them in the build configuration file. For a reusable, seamless integration of DVT into your flows, you should check out the DVT command line interface. It allows you to fully automate project creation and configuration, abstracting the whole process into a single command.